Please face the court reporter and raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Sure. State and spell your name, please. Benjamin Friedman, B-E-N-J-A-M-I-N-F-R-I-E-D-M-A-N. And what is your profession, Mr. Friedman? Producer. Film and television producer. Would you give us the titles of some of the films or television programs that you produced? Well, uh, I produced this, well, my partner and I produced a series uh, called Dumb People. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's gotten over 100,000 views. Have you ever produced a film or a television show that was distributed commercially? No. Have you ever produced a film or television show for which you were compensated for your work? No. And were you the producer of a television reality show pilot entitled Survive? which began shooting on July 15th, 2014 in the Mojave Desert. Yes, I was a producer. I was one of the producers, and I was not personally responsible. Would you describe the events of July 15th, 2014 as clearly as you can remember them? Well, like you said, it was the first day of filming for this pilot, intended pilot. <sighs> Two in Iraq before that. I'm looking forward to this. I'm expecting to see some guys from the other branches. I think I can give them a run for their money. Oh, I think it's going to be a grand adventure, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> oh, Peter doesn't want me to go. They talk to us all the time, you know, the animals, but we have to tune them in, like radio frequency. <laughs> And if we do, we, we have much to learn. Yes, more than you can imagine. What should people know about me? Well, uh, I'm gay. Uh, I love reality shows. I would kill to be on The Bachelor as a contestant, of course. Um, I'm also a practicing Buddhist. At least I try to be. So uh, a reality show watching chubby gay Buddhist. So that's, we got that demographic all sewed up, I think, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> well, I have to be careful in the sun, you know, because of my complexion. But you know how some nights you want to look up at the moon, but there's like an archive station right outside your bedroom window. Well, I just want to look up at the moon. So it'll be fun, right? I spent most of my career in the ER, and now I just work night shifts here at the nursing home. How do you like it here? It's hard. I mean, you do what you can, but you always know what the outcome's gonna be. And why do you want to do this competition? Because I just need a break. Yeah, you know, it'd be nice to get away from death for a while. This is just a continuation of my work. You know, I've studied extreme environments all over the world, and uh, frankly, you're lucky to have me. Though you're gonna have to accept probably gonna win from somewhere deep in the vast uncharted regions of planet earth this is survive six contestants abandoned hundreds of miles from civilization four clues each one leading to the next one chance to win it all one hundred thousand dollars in cash Here's your host, Eric Estrada! Hello, and welcome to Survive, the world's most intense and dangerous reality competition. In a few moments, these six contestants will begin the adventure of a lifetime. Let's meet them. Mitch Adams, he'll carry the shelter. Peter Dunker, he'll carry the compass and other essential tools. Bruce Charmaine, he will carry the food, just enough for the first leg of their journey. Elsa Brichard, who will carry the water supply, one day's worth. Violet Reams has the medical supplies. And finally, Amber Tremble, who carries nothing, nothing but a secret that can make her the most valuable contestant of them all. Wait, wait. <laughs> Mr. 
You've got to kid me. I thought this was for real. Listen carefully, all of you. In a few moments, you will be given a clue. You must solve that clue together or on your own. When you do, yellow marker flags will lead you to a second clue, which could be miles away or in the very environment around you. Four clues in all. Solve them all, and you'll find a gold flag and win the competition. And what will you win? Well, that depends. If all six of you make it to the end together, it's one dollar. Just enough for a cold beer back in civilization, if you split a six pack. I hate beer. If only five of you reach the final flag, the prize increases tenfold, ten dollars a piece. And if only one of you reaches the final flag, one hundred thousand dollars in cash. Your packs now contain the personal items you brought with you and the items you'll be carrying for the entire team. You are now being fitted with specially designed helmets. Each has been fitted with two high-definition video cameras, internal memory chips, a headlamp, and solar charging cells. Starting right now, those cameras will be recording continuously for 24 hours a day. You will hike in these helmets, you will eat in them, and you will sleep in them. If you attempt to disable the cameras in any way, you will be eliminated. There are also video cameras in your monoculars and motion-activated cameras at each of the clues and at other remote locations along your route. And you will be accompanied by one other person, just one. His name is not important. All you need to know is that he is a world-class cameraman who has documented, among other things, three expeditions to the top of Mount Everest. If you speak to him, you will be eliminated. You cannot personally impede another contestant in any way. If you do, you will be eliminated. If you are eliminated or want to quit, he will use a satellite phone to summon a helicopter and your participation in this competition will be over. You are now being given two gallons of water, just enough to make it to the next clue. A minor point perhaps, but out here you'll quickly learn that water is worth more than all the money in the world. Good luck. And welcome to the biggest adventure of your lives. Oh, my. Well, that was a little overly dramatic, don't you think? supposed to be overly dramatic. It's a reality show. Anybody ready to quit yet? Looking a little burnt there, Sarge. All right, let's do this. Oh, excuse me. Um, I think the correct procedure is to elect a leader. I'm sorry, what's your name again? Bruce. William Bruce Charmaine. Do you spend a lot of time in the desert, Bruce? Actually, uh, a group of us go to Palm Springs almost every Easter. It's 105 degrees. We have two gallons of water. In six hours, that sun's gonna set. I suggest we read the clue. Read it again. She's read it five times already. And she'll read it another five if necessary. Count now the foreign treeless plains, for only southern sun can show the way this far. This year, oh, one for six. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Actually, I gave up the first time we read it. Look, it's simple. I've already explained it. These are the treeless plains. See? No trees. What about the... Those are cactus, not trees. Technically, they're yucca. Whatever. Look, the southern sun knows the way, so we follow it on this day of the year O. Oh. And one for six. One clue for six of us to solve. All for one, one for all. Who cares? Let's go. Um, I, I think it may be something else. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Sarge here has a better idea. Well, there's another word for treeless plains. Um, it's a foreign word. Um, oh, uh, steps. In Russia, they're called steps. Right, steps. So, um, I think that maybe we should count steps. Um... Our steps. See, this far this year, this year is 2014, plus an O, 20,140. Oh, your military intelligence. 
What else? Uh, well, this word, son. Maybe it's S-O-N, like a man. And that could be Peter, because he's Australian. Australia's in the South, right? So he's a southern son. All right, yes. This is a joke. So which way do we walk? Well, only Peter can tell us that. Mm. Only the southern son can show the way. But this part, maybe they're numbers. One, four, six. <laughs> Get out your compass. One, four, six. One hundred and forty-six degrees. There. Right there. That's where we go. I don't believe it. So that's why you don't have to carry anything. Because you are like uh, Justin Hoffman in that movie. Right, man? <laughs> so, now we can go, right? Sorry it was a little testy back there, mate. Doesn't matter. I figure in the end it'll come down to the two of us one way or the other. My thoughts precisely. So until then, perhaps we should work together to ensure that outcome. I'll think about it. So, how'd you do it? Do what? The clue. How did you figure it out? I don't know. The answers, they just come to me. It's the rest of my life I have problems with. You know, like boyfriends and things? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> To be honest, that's the real reason I'm doing this. I just wanted to spend time with people who I knew were going to be there in the morning when I wake up. <laughs> 1435, 36, 37, 8. Oh, you know, pigs, they are the intellectuals, of course. They just play dumb. Uh, nobody can stand the cats. Oh, uh, but the dogs, now they, they're the, they're the spiritual ones. You know, one time I channeled a collie. I believe he was the reincarnation of Krishnamati himself. <laughs> uh, funny thing is, I, he would not stay outspoken. I don't know why. So what do you think we are? Somewhere in the Mojave, of course. Still a very forbidding place. You know, extreme temperature swings, virtually no potable water, and then, of course, you've got the whole superstitious nonsense. What? What kind of superstitious nonsense? Oh, you know, Area 51, cow mutilations, little green aliens, that sort of thing. But I'm sure they're going to make some very titillating little promos for the show. <laughs> This far, this year, oh. And the rocks are full of O's. Yeah, and the crew's undoubtedly in one of them. It'll be dark soon. We'll have to make camp and look in the morning. Make camp? Ugh, sounds dirty. Why don't you just watch, Bruce? I'm sure you're good at that. I don't think he likes me. Or maybe he does. He just doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> oh, my. I never considered that possibility. <laughs> Make camp here. Let's do men's tent here, and women's tent right next to it, facing the same way. You guys got it? Ooh, this could be our kitchenette. Bruce, do you see these rocks? Aren't they beautiful? They look like the, the birds or something. Violet? I fell on some rocks. together like that. Odd. 
I think this goes on top. You know, Bruce, you can't sleep in the girls' tent. No matter how bad you want to. Please. I miss spending the night with the two of you. I can't wait for bedtime. I think it's backwards. Jesus! Ah! Where the hell did he come from? This should be good. Why are you here? Well, actually, we're all contestants on a reality show. You're not welcome here. This is sacred land to my people. The spirits of my ancestors are angry at all the poison that you brought here. And why is that, Kimo Sabi? Peter. You mock my words, but you will choke on your mockery. Your greed will overcome you and drive you mad. What? Was he? Did he? I'm really freaked out right now. Native wisdom passed down from millennia. Very sobering. What are we to do? Would she think that was part of the show? I don't know, Bruce. What do you think? Where did Elsa go? What? Elsa! Well, what is she doing? She, she's going to get kicked off the show. Well, Elsa! Elsa! Unbelievable. It's an elimination competition, and Sarge is trying to keep her from being eliminated. What did you see? Elsa, what did that thing tell you? Please. With me. You are all good people. This place that never should have brought us here. We all need to leave now. Never learn to move here. Yes, yes. Yes. So you really think he was part of the show? Of course. And Elsa may be as well. say anything else? No, she just kept saying the same thing over and over, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. Well, maybe it was a mantra. What? Something you say when you're worried or scared. For protection. Here. It's a prayer wheel. Buddhist thing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Just in case. Okay. Peter drew the short straw. He'll carry the water. Up at dawn. Find the clue. Solve it. Head out. Yes, sir. Why so sad, Sarge? I miss her. But you get plenty of screen time now. And we're up to ten dollars a piece. Hip hip. Hurrah. That's greedy. That's greed. Oh, for God's sake.
Rise and shine, ladies. You too, Buddha boy. Oh, I am not a morning person. Where's the cameraman? He hasn't clocked in yet. But he's not here. And he's probably out making nature shots. Filler for the boring parts. But all his camera junk is right here. Nine. Maybe he got lost. I believe this is all part of the contest. Leave us on our own. See what we do. Right. We need to find the clue. Everybody leave your packs. Split up. Check every hole you can reach. I don't want to split up. There might be things in those holes. Crawling things. <laughs> Come on, honey. I'll be your hole buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ew. Ew. That was weird. Hey, hey, hey! That's against the rules, you know. Competing another contestant. Apologies once more. What is that? This looks like camera guy's glove. Hey, maybe that's that's where they hit it. Come on, scaredy cat. Let's look. Nothing, nothing. Found it. Yes. So the clue must be... Got it. Let's go. Mitchell. Hey, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Where are you going exactly? Get the others? Solve this? 
Or, or, or we don't. We open it right now, just the two of us. And we figure it out. Hopefully without the assistance of Rain Girl. Then we go back, tell the others we didn't find anything. And tonight, when they're asleep, we leave. I've got the water, we've got our bags. There's food at the next clue. We don't need the nurse as long as we're careful. All within the rules. What about the cameraman? Well, he'll stay with them. Eventually he'll give up. Call in the helicopter. But the show continues. Sisso in the rules. And there's nothing that says that we can't go the whole way ourselves. And what if we can't solve this? Then we take her along for as long as she's useful. A thousand apiece. It's something. Or ten thousand. When our idiot savant falls behind. They never told us. Sir, sir, can you hear me? Apparently it was a heart attack. Violet said he just stopped breathing. The show's never gonna get picked up. What if it wasn't? What if it was that goddamn Indian? God's sake, man, he was an actor. What if he wasn't an actor? What if his god told him to kill anybody that comes on his miserable ass land? Maybe it was the desert spirits, like he said. Maybe there was some evil in those snakes or those spiders or something. Would you shut up for a minute? Leave her alone, Mitch. Screw you, Bruce. Screw you, asshole! Stop it! The satellite phone. Shit! Shit! What, what's wrong? He's got a damn passcode on it. Locked up. Locks up with the wrong code. For how long? Looks like five minutes. Then we got three more tries, maybe. So, so how long will it take to try every number? Well, it depends how long the code is. If it's four digits, it's what? 9,999 divided so by... 11 days, 12 hours, and 38 minutes. Great. That's just great. Got enough order for a day. One day. We'll never make it. My God, it didn't occur to them that something like this might happen? Apparently not. It's greed. It's all because of greed. You need to stop that. We gotta keep going. We gotta follow the clues. That's insane. No, no. No. Perhaps she's right. This water, this food, and every clue, enough to keep us alive. When they don't hear from that cameraman, they're either going to call us on that phone, or they're going to come and find us. But you didn't do either, did you, Mr. Friedman? Mr. Friedman? You didn't call or try to find them. Why not? You were overheard telling the cameraman that you weren't going to call him because satellite phone rates were so expensive and that you didn't want him calling you either unless there was a problem or someone dropped out. Is that true, Mr. Friedman? Mr. 
Mr. Friedman. So we're back to where we started. We gotta find that clue. Found it already? So were you planning on sharing that bit of news with the rest of us? It was a contest. You assholes! Look, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore except for finding enough water to live. And getting out of here. I can't, what if I can't solve this? Then I guess there's no reason for you to be here, is there? That's it? Look here. What, what is this, Alice in Wonderland? One, two, three, four, one, two. Like four holes, two notches, two words. Look here. Eight letters, eight times six. That's what, 48. But 48 what? 48 holes, 48 notches. Where did you find it? So? Um, I'm not sure. Outstanding. Thanks for playing. Oh, it's all right, my dear. Unfair to put the whole burden on you. Perhaps I can help. <clears throat> No. Sorry. Um, I just meant just, um, not yet. Um. to go there? No. There. Oh. Oh my god. Don't sip it. What? Take at least two big gulps and keep drinking. When you sip it, the water just evaporates from your skin. It's not going to get into your system. Okay. I saw a lizard right over there, a big one. Mojave French dog, harmless. But what about other stuff? Like snakes and stuff. If we're talking rattlesnakes, only two you need to think about. Western Diamondback and the Mojave. Diamondback kills more people, but the Mojave, real nasty. Well, nastier than killing people? One of the most venomous snakes in the world. Venom's full of neurotoxins and hemotoxins. So one paralyzes your nervous system while the other's digesting your flesh. Stay clear of them. Okay. Then there's scorpions and mountain lions. Mountain lions. But we're not in the mountains. Well, that's right. But the drought and driving them down to the low elevations. It's been happening all over the world. You don't see them during the day. But early morning, dusk, evening, that's when they hunt. The cougars, 
the snakes, the tarantulas, all of them. At night? When we can't see them? That's right. Of course, they can see you just fine. It doesn't matter now. Now all we can do is pray for him. That's what the Buddhists do. How do they pray? The Tibetan Buddhists have the Book of the Dead. Oh, nobly born. Then you say the person's name. The time has now come for thee to seek the path. Oh, nobly born. Camera guy. The time has now come for thee to seek the path. O oh, nobly born, let thy mind not be distracted. O oh, nobly born, let thy mind not be distracted. You think they'll make it? The nurse, maybe. The others. Technically, it's still on, you know. What? Contest. Regardless of elimination, accidents, or unplanned occurrences of any kind, the competition shall continue, etc., etc., etc. You brought a copy of the contract with you? Of course. I didn't expect this to happen, but still. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> the rocks. What do you think they get all these rocks, huh? I tell you what, these TV shows. Spare no expense. <laughs> Don't make that sound with your throat. It scares me. Keep your head up. You're gonna walk into a rock or a cactus or off a goddamn cliff. Keep that on. I'm hot. You're gonna be hotter without it. Sweat evaporates faster off exposed skin. Keep it on. Yes, mommy. Listen, Chubbs. Normally I wouldn't give a shit about what happens to you, but right now we're trying to stay alive. Keep that on before I gotta carry your fat ass back to Miami. Somewhere. Find us, keepers. All within the rules. news. What? Someone got here first. No clue? At least there's water. God damn it. 
I guess that's it then. This is as far as we go. Enough? It needs to be longer so it can be seen better from the air. We'll keep it up till sunset. I'm gonna go up and transfer the water. That way we can keep it safe in the tent. Fine. takes first watch, followed by Violet, Amber, Peter, me. Two hours each. This will take us to sunrise. Do not fall asleep. If you see or hear anything, wave your flashlights and yell loud. It's all right, dear. It's only me. It's my turn. I screwed up again. Oh, your beauty begs forgiveness. No, it doesn't. I was supposed to be the guard. Nothing would have happened. I've been watching you for over an hour. You have? Mm. Some of us are born protectors, and others... others just need to be protected. Can you not do that, please? You need an ally, Amber. A partner. I have a partner. Bruce. I mean a long-term partner after all this is done. I excel at logic and your gift comes from the unconscious. Now, Mitch doesn't believe it, but I bet him I could prove it. What then? There's a riddle I learned as a child. No one's been able to solve it, but I bet him you could. I should be going. Born of the sea, without it life is done. But it dies when the mother touches the sun. We could make a powerful team, you and I, Amber. One that could bring us a lot of money and pleasure. <laughs> Answer to the riddle. We need salt to survive. The mother is the sea. Salt dissolves in water. It's salt. Salt. Of course. Shit. Shit. Stop. He's gone. And he took the water, that son of a bitch! Peter's gone? What? Why? Contest is still on. It's still on! No! But, but, no, we're just trying to get back now. Not Peter, apparently. But why would he do that? It's in the contract. Whoever makes it to the end first wins, no matter what. That's nuts. But we could die out here. No, he thought of that. He made us fill up our water bottles last night, knowing we'd have two or three days as long as we stayed here and didn't move. It's gonna give him enough time to make it to the end and win! Where are you going? Find him. I just gotta figure out where the hell he went. Salt. What? Last night. He asked me a riddle. The answer was salt. How 
Nikolai Flats. Pure salt. I'm going with you. The hell you are. I'm a nurse. I'm supposed to stay with whoever's in danger, and that's gonna be you. No way! You two are not leaving us here. Look, you need to chill out and stay here. So what, we're just supposed to trust you now? How do we know you're not after the money too? Yeah, maybe you and Peter made a plan. They did that before. This is ridiculous! You need to stay- Get off get me, faggot! Don't ask. Don't tell Mitch. <laughs> Go ahead. You've wanted to do that ever since you saw me. Look, everyone needs to decide what to do for themselves, okay? I'm staying with Bruce. And we're both coming with you. Whether he likes it or not. Fine! Fine. Do whatever the hell you want. Just don't try to keep up. You won't be able to and you'll dehydrate faster. I'll try and leave markers. If you can't make it, find shade. Any shade and stay there! What happened to the rest of your water? I drank it last night. But what? what? Violet said I should drink when I was thirsty, okay? You can have some of mine. No. No. I'll be okay. Come on. I gotta go. Going home yet. In fact, I might stay here for a year. Isn't there supposed to be a mule team around here somewhere? Ronald Reagan or John Wayne or something. Say to my wife, I've gone to Australia all winter long. I'll be sitting right here. Every 15 minutes. Hey!
He doesn't sound very good. I know. Look! Over there! Mitch! What's wrong with him? He drank from an alkaline pool. What's wrong with your eyes? Peter. I see. I'm fine. Just shut up. Hold still. Peter, did you catch him? Better. I scared him. Flanks go that way. He went that way. I don't suppose he left any Pellegrino. He made a joke. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we need to go. He needs to rest. We need to go. Just a bunch of goddamn rocks and sand. <sighs> lines. It's just a bunch of goddamn lines. <clears throat> The cameraman's dead. You have to help us. Stop it. Nobody can hear you. It's just a camera. It's just another goddamn camera. Aliens. Aliens did it. It's Peter. He took the clue. No. I watched the whole way up. There's no way. It's not just lines. It's the word. It says wait. Wait for what? Wait for what? Don't know. Mitch. That's the only reason they brought her on the show for Christ's sake. That and that body she's so proud of. You had no issues helping Peter out with that clue. Maybe you should have went with him!
I'll say to my wife, I've gone to Australia. While all winter long, I'll be sitting right here. No! No! How is he? Not good. His blood pressure is pretty low, and without water, it's just gonna get worse. Why'd you do this? You must have had a pretty good job working for the hospitals. You're helping people. Why would you give that up for a stupid TV show? Why did you? Excitement. Adrenaline. It never leaves your system. Death is like that. Once you've seen it. Really seen it. Nothing else seems as important. About three months ago, I was working the graveyard shift in the ER, and we got this trauma victim in. Gangbanger, gunshot wound to the head. He wasn't gonna make it, there was nothing we could do. It was just a matter of time. I was the last one in his room, and I couldn't leave. I just kept standing there and watching him waiting for that moment when he took his last breath. It's so amazing. One minute someone's there and then they're just not. That was the third person that I saw die that week. And I realized that I was becoming a junkie. Death junkie. And it made me sick. So I quit. The next day. Holy shit. Phosphorescent rock, glowing from the sun. It's a trail. Wake them up. Mitch, wait! I can't! They're already starting to fade! Mitch! Mitch! Come on! Come on! Mitch! Please! Come on! No, don't! You're just gonna push them in deeper! We have to stop. No. We need to take care of... No, the rock! Stop! <laughs> Come on. Oh, where is he? 
No! Can we win? Three. Ah! Okay. Pull out the other one. It's a little deeper, okay? Just hold still. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. Yeah, we just need to stop. We need to take a break. We need to take a minute. Sorry about what I said back there, doll. Uh, about your body. It's a nice body. Can you please call me by my name? What? My name. It's Amber. Every time you talk to me, you call me Sarge or doll or baby. My name is Amber. I deserve for you to call me that. No, 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 I know it's okay. I gotta let the dogs out. They're barking over there. If I gotta, I can't get it. So calm me down a bit. No, no, you're trying to kill me. I can't get this off! Get it off. I'll it off. I can't. I can't down. breathe anymore in here. It's too small. Everybody's here, right? Everybody's here. He's not gonna make it. I need to find some place out of the sun. Make him comfortable. When we find water, we'll come back for him, but that's all we can do. No. 
No. We are not going to leave him. Amber. No. We can't. We can't. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I won't leave him. Then you'll die too. No. He's going to be alone. Listen to me, okay? Stay here. Do you understand me? Stay here. Stay. Sit. Good dog. You understand? We're coming back just as soon as we find water. Violet, Mitch's eyes getting worse. I know. Here, here. Can you get these down?
Joe. Angels, they're coming. No. No, there's something there. Hey, Mama. Hope these things are still on. <laughs> I just wanted to say I love you. And I don't, I didn't say that enough. But I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> I keep having this dream. I keep seeing Gaga. I think that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not scared anymore. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to let go. But I'm gonna be okay, I know. I know you're gonna be sad for a while. I hope that you can be proud of me afterwards, okay? Because I did stuff that no one would think I could do. Oh, yeah. I met Eric Estrada. I love you.
There's water here. It's a spring. Today, so. <laughs> it's gonna rain, Amber. It's okay, I'm not even thirsty. That doesn't know. That doesn't know. <laughs>
not inject may cause respiratory failure or... What are you doing? It's you. You're doing it. What? Bruce? Mitch? The cameraman? Amber, listen to me. You're exhausted and delirious. You're killing everybody. I'm gonna give you something to calm you down, okay? No, no. Amber, wait! I just want to help you! Amber, stop this! You need... <laughs> Amber? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? away. I cannot escape being separated from them. I am of the nature to die. There is no escape from death. No! No! Why? Get back! 
No! No! No, no my wrist! No! 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 We have the money to pay them now. $10,000 each, just like it says in the contract. And what about Peter Dunkirk and Violet Reams? You are aware of what happened to them. Yeah! <laughs> 